Warning, the following show features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, Outlaw and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on the show. What's up, cats and chicks? Outlaw Greaser here again, and tonight we're talking about posers. We hear that word a lot thrown around in the greaser community. He's a poser. This, this cat here is not a real greaser. He's just a poser. So tonight I'm going to go over like key signs of a poser, how you can spot a poser. That way there's not this confusion anymore about who's a poser and who's not. A poser looks like this. You know, he pretty much just fits the description of the movie type greaser. He gets his style tips from watching The Outsiders and watching the movie Grease. He Maybe the movie Cry Baby. He's never heard of Deuces Wild or heard of The Wanderers or any of the legit, you know, greaser movies. <clears throat> Lords of Flatbush. A poser is going to reference The Outsiders a lot. Like, you know, it's a good movie and all. You know, make a little joke or a pun about it every now and then. But, hey, that's not what the greaser style is. That They did a horrible job of representing greasers. And if you don't see that, you're obviously a poser. And, um, another thing is greasers don't only listen to Elvis Presley. So, if you're talking to a cat and all he talks about is Elvis this, Elvis that, and you can't name a single other uh, rockabilly artist, then he's most likely a poser. Um, skinny jeans. I'm just going to tell you right now. Skinny jeans is a hipster thing. If you're trying to rock skinny jeans with the greaser style, you're going to get looked at as a poser or a hipster. Because they're not greaser. Greasers wore straight leg jeans or boot cut jeans. And that's what it was. They were straight leg Levi's or Wranglers. But they didn't wear skinny jeans. And it just it looks gay. It really does. It just looks gay. So scratch that one off the list. You don't wear skinny jeans. And you don't. You just don't dress like a hipster. Keep the hairstyle traditional. You know, do what they did in the 50s if you want to be a greaser. Then, uh, you know, follow the follow the dress code. And, I mean, why call yourself a greaser if you're not really dedicated to it, I guess. You just want to have a bunch of different titles. But, uh, no, be what you say you are. You know, go out and GTFO every day like we talk about. You know, you got to let the world know that we're out there. I'll be posting that video soon. I'm waiting on a clip from Madman, and then it'll be finished. I've been talking to him. He's a pretty cool cat, and it's my first time ever talking to him. So it's crazy because me and him have been doing this for years, and never once have spoken to each other, but this time. So I'm excited about that. Putting the video out, it's gonna be really cool. But um, just want to make this little quick short video to discuss what a poser is. It's frustrating because there's some greasers trying to put down other greasers for silly stuff like, um, you know, he don't wear his leather jacket every day. Well, maybe it's hot outside. You know, maybe he just didn't feel like wearing it that day. You know, greasers do wear other stuff besides leather. You know, they wear blue jean jackets too. They, you know, they wear uh, the little windbreakers like James Dean had. There's all kind of different, you know, styles or different, yeah, different styles you can pull off in the greaser style or in the greaser community. It's not little stuff like whether you got your jeans cuffed or not or what kind of hair product you use or you know whether you use a comb or a hairbrush or whether you don't or do use hairspray like none of that stuff matters it's not about picking at little things there's no set of rule books with the greaser community because greasers don't follow rules greasers are outlaws they're rebels they're just the old school ones we're greasers um we like the old school vintage things you know that's where our heart is in the old days and we were born in the wrong time and we all feel that same way and that's what brings us together and makes us creatures and we usually come from pretty rough poor or middle class background it's not very often to get an upper class greaser unless he worked his way to that position but um yeah i mean there's a lot to it but at the end of the day a greaser should be in the know and should already know so it's not that complicated to a greaser, it just comes natural to it. So again, it's not about the little things, you know, critiquing the way everybody dresses and the way they do their hair. And, 
you know, whether or not they got studs. I'm like, you know, it's just enough of all the silly crap. You know, we're all like-minded. That's why we're all in this community. So I think I speak for all of us when I say, if you're a greaser, you should be minding your own business. You're an individual, and you should be out there doing what makes you happy and not giving a darn what everybody else thinks about you because that's why we bucked the system in the first place and quit conforming and decided to do our own thing because we decided that who cares what they think? They're a bunch of idiots anyway. So we need to do what our grandfathers and, and uh, uncles and dads did. And heck, all you chicks out there, what your grandmas and mamas and aunts taught you and stuff. Um, just sticking to your roots. You might be the rough and tumble type, but we're a fun bunch. You know, we're all about pure American, mama's apple pie, you know, just doing things the old school way and enjoying the old, simple things in life that people forget about nowadays in this sped up, crazy world. So, we're a subculture of our own too. It's not just based off of a movie. So don't come into it with the mindset that you're gonna become a greaser and then all of a sudden, it, this just new fad's gonna take on and everybody's gonna start joining in and you're all gonna be singing Grease Lightning at your school because that's not how it works. It's just a community like any other subculture out there, except we just believe in doing things old school way, and we all feel the same way, and that's what brings us together. And we love the nostalgia of the 50s, some 40s, some 30s, some go way back. We got all kind of different time periods that we like here, but the thing that brings us together is we don't like this one, and we ain't conforming to this way no more. We're bucking it, and we're doing it the way we think it should be done, which can be all kind of different ways, because you're an individual, and you understand that. That's what makes you a greaser. So look, y'all. Don't be a poser. Stay hip. Stay greasy. Keep it rockabilly. GTFO.